Ella, yeah? what did we just get you for your birthday? For my birthday? Yeah, what, what did we just get you for your birthday? Where are we? We're at a sporting goods store. Yes, and we're getting a little big giant trampoline with a net. <laughs> a big giant trampoline with a net. They're gonna go get it right now, right? The boys are putting the trampoline in. Pretty cool, we got like 20% off because the box was open. I'm like, I'll take it. So, tomorrow, tomorrow Miss Ella is going to her Mimi's, but when There's a lot of metal, honey. I think they ended up just taking it out of the box. Did you just not take the box? <laughs> no, tonight we gotta go to sleep. It's already 8.10. So tonight is bedtime. And then first thing in the morning we're going to to, to Vanilla Mimi's because I got to work tomorrow. But when you wake up the next day, we'll oh, sorry, together. <laughs> the trampoline. Yeah. Are you excited? Tomorrow, like, tomorrow, tomorrow? Not tomorrow because you're going to be at Vanilla Mimi's, but the next day. Okay. That was the most ridiculous thing I've ever recorded. I, think I shook his hand too hard because I watched him walk away and he goes like just. <laughs> <laughs> He just broke that goose hand. <laughs> that was fun. Wait, you broke the Did we even? Hand? No, no, no. I was joking, baby. Did we even, uh, <laughs> the box. I was gonna say, did we even take the box? So he just took everything out of the box. No, the second we went to move the box, it went. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you save money. Thirty percent. Yeah. Create a disaster. Him. I told him about the twenty percent. It was just because the box was broken. I didn't even ask for that. They said that they had. I hit it on it. Did you? Oh, yeah. Oh, I said, we'll take it right now with a discount. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> well, because we were talking to Elise, because we couldn't find it. Okay, so I wanted the trampoline like now. I've been looking on Amazon seatbelt. They'll yell at YouTube. Ew, I'm so sorry, community of YouTube. I will put no, my seatbelt on right you. now. They'll destroy you. Good luck. No, I, I was looking on Amazon. I was looking on Amp. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Sorry, it's not working. I was looking on Amazon, but it's hard to like tell what the sizes oh were. Gosh. You know what I mean? And I didn't want to get something Those too small that we would have to upgrade later. So I, what, what is it? A Daddy? 14 foot? It's a 14 -er. So we definitely Daddy? would be able to fit two kids on it. I am super overwhelmed today. <laughs> uh, half of my chores have already been done. We're kind of um, starting midway through my stressful morning. But today I had to dedicate to just getting stuff done for the weekend because tomorrow I am heading to New York um, with the family we're driving it's only New York is only four hours away we could literally make a day trip out of it which we are but I have to get up super super early tomorrow we're going to New York for my cousin's baby shower I think she's having a girl and I really need to find that out because we also need to buy a baby shower gift today this morning we pretty much just like kind of clean the house um, but I had to go get my nails done because Tomorrow, you know, again, I'm not going to be here and my nails are super overgrown for the baby shower. So I have to go get them done, which we're going to do right now. And then my biggest chore today was getting car insurance. <laughs> I had still like been driving without insurance since that whole like almost accident I got in before we went on that little camping trip. So I was like, I'm getting it done today. So that was one of the first things that we done. I am officially assured, insured. Thank goodness. Oh my God, that was so stressful driving without it. And I don't know what I want to do for my nails because I mentioned in my last vlog that Carly Bybell's... Pretty blue color for my mom's nails. Well, I don't know because Carly Bybell's lipstick collection is being released before I need to get my nails done again. So, like, I don't want to go to them and ask for 
any galaxy print because they don't the place I go to doesn't really do a good job when it comes to like designs <laughs> so I just need like a pretty base color I don't know maybe I'll look up something while we're in the parking lot but we're like literally about to pull in I know well you told me that you were cold so I turned down the air now normally I have really bad experiences at nail salons but this time it was just a weird <laughs> such a weird experience so I ended up just going I'll show you guys like when we stop obviously for safety reasons I'm not playing around with my kid driving uh, in the car but I ended up just going with a nude color because all the colors that I saw that were like All the colors that I saw that I like could go with were all like silver or holographic or like black with silver flecks in it. And I was debating on going with one of those, but because of the baby shower tomorrow, I'm like, ah, oh my God, please get me out of the city. <laughs> I hate this city so much. Anyways, um, I ended up just going with a nude color. Sorry, my windows are down. I just want some fresh air. And, uh, you know, I'm happy with the, the color that I ended up choosing. They started me with one guy who I get a lot. And the minute I sat down and he looked at my nails, he says, oh, you got a full set? And the last time I was there, two to three weeks ago, I ended up getting a full set. I was just, I really needed one. <clears throat> so I told him, you know, I got a full set. And he says, oh, he says, do you have time today to get another full set? No, <laughs> I lied to him. Well, I didn't really lie because we are literally about to go grocery shopping now. That's our next thing. Um, but I just said, no, I said, I'm kind of in a hurry today. Like I have to go grocery shopping and I got to get her home. Like I, I was just trying to make, like I didn't want to, I just paid for her full set. And I said, well, why? Like, why would I need a new one? He says, all your nails are crooked. Now I knew that my pinky and my thumb were genuinely crooked like I did notice those being very crooked he's like no he's like not just those two all of your nails he says what shape do you like to get he said the coffin I said yeah okay you know your nails still kind of hold the shape even when you go get them fixed I said yeah the coffin he says oh he's like he's like I need to fix these but I can't fix them unless they're almonds and I said well honestly I said I got almonds once and I hated them on me. I said, I did not like them. I want my coffins. He says, oh, my appointment walks in. So he sits me down and kind of like picks up where the first guy left off, which wasn't very far. They were, they grinded seven of my nail, seven out of 10 nail polish, like the gel off. And he's like, your nails need serious help. I said, yeah, I know they're pretty crooked. He's like, crooked? <laughs> I was like, whoa like yeah that's why I don't like you I kept getting flip-flopped between him and I'm assuming the owner I see this owner all the time he's always the one at the front desk always the one answering the phone always like greeting clients when they walk in the younger kid basically like finished the the shaping and the filing of my nails and then the owner was gonna paint my nails so the owner starts putting on this like clear base coat which i don't think i've ever had done before i thought it was maybe just like an extra step to make my nails look nicer because he was like an owner so he paints all of my nails with this clear coat and then he paints all of my nails with the nude color that i picked i'm i'm literally <laughs> <laughs> my nails are dry like I put them in the little I don't know I don't know what's called like the UV lamp thing my nails are dry at this point and he says oh no he's like they have to be perfect grinds off all of the nail polish yeah. <laughs> grinds off like, all the nail polish that, that they just put to... on for some reason he left my thumb still painted I guess maybe it was the best one I don't know and when he grinds them off, he's like, they have to be perfect. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so I'm sitting there and I'm getting antsy because I told this one it wasn't gonna take as long as the last time I got a full set. Honestly, it took just as long. So they repaint my nails, but the second time they painted my nails, he never put on that base, that clear base coat. He just put 
put the nail polish on right away and then had me like he would paint one nail have me put it under the light paint another nail have me put it under the light bring this in like literally had to dry one nail at a time oh my god and then he just like slaps oil on my cuticles but doesn't like rub them in or anything he's like okay you're done forty dollars <laughs> Oh my goodness. And I'm telling you, I always have these bizarre nail salons and anyone would, in their right mind would just be like, just go to a different nail salon. Guys, you have to understand, I have been to, to a thousand nail salons in my area. Actually, one of you guys, because a lot of you found out where, like that viral vlog of mine, where that mall was. So like, you, like I've told people, like I live in New Hampshire, that's not a secret. I don't give away my exact location. And to be honest, like I'm kind of everywhere. I go everywhere. Um, but you guys found out like where that particular mall was, which is fine by me. A little creepy, but fine, <laughs> fine. And one of you guys recommended a salon like in, in one of those nearby locations. So I am gonna go check that out. Um, honestly, I forgot until I literally just started talking about it, but I'm telling you guys, like, I have been to a million, ow, I just cracked my finger. <laughs> I have been to a million different salons because I don't like paying for something that I don't enjoy. Ow, that was my pinky. So I have tried, I've been getting my nails done since 15 years old. That's been 11 years, trust me. I've tried a thousand different nail salons. And I'm much more picky, like, going this time. Like, I'll say stuff that I didn't used to say, you know? Baby, what are you doing with my umbrella? But this finger, I'll show you when we stop. We're almost at the grocery store. This finger is so jacked up. I don't know how the owner looked at it and called that perfect. Oh, boy. <laughs> First of all, found out that my cousin is having a baby girl. That was important. They're gonna be, look at the tip. <laughs> Look how wonky the tip is. And then I know you can kind of see the wave that's going on, um, like right here-ish. Yeah, the rest of them look okay though. I am in the juice aisle and I just came across, where is it, this thing. Look, it's watermelon water. What? I kind of want to try it. I did grab some Gatorades as well. Um, I haven't had Gatorade in forever, but for some reason I'm craving it. A couple lipsticks as well that I want to swatch when we get home. I think they're just from Maybelline, I think. Um, they're two nude colors, however, and then I picked up a couple baby stuff. Honestly, we don't need a ton grocery shopping today, so I'll be done pretty soon. Let Ella take over. <laughs> we got a point to that one, huh? Picking out some pizzas for Daddy. What kind of pizza does he like? He does, he like he likes that one with the, all the vegetables on it. The one with the veggies? Yeah. I want to see. I want some food. I want to go this way or towards here. Which way? Which way? Um, which way? 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 Which <laughs> All right, so we're just kind of settling in. I put the majority of everything away. There were just a couple things I want to try with you guys on camera because they're not normally stuff that I pick up. The first thing I'm going to try is this because it's going to melt if I don't get in the freezer. Um, I got this a while ago, but we left our freezer door open, so everything ended up going bad. But this is Moki Maki ice cream. It's premium wrapped ice cream. Premium ice cream wrapped in a sweet pillowy dough. It sounded intriguing and I got the cookies and cream kind. I, am I gonna like it? I don't know. <laughs> but like I said, it, it, it was just super interesting. So it says keep frozen until my mo time. Let Moki sit for a minute or two. I mean, I just kind of got back from the store so it had been in a really hot car, but it comes in six. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm curious. Woo! Did you see? I don't know if you saw that like big dust cloud come out. 
I just have a feeling this is going to be messy. Oh, so how am I supposed to get this out? Because it's like super soft. Oh, how interesting. Ooh, okay. What is that? <laughs> I don't know what it's dusted in, but all right, we're going to um, cut it open here if I can. Oh, my cat's at the door. On the inside, like as I'm peeling away the dough, you can see the ice cream. That is an enormous fly. What the heck? Oh my gosh, I actually got him. I don't know where the heck he landed though. Oh, ew. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> I just threw the whole drain away, so I gotta go pick up another one. They're like a dollar at the store. But let's give this thing a try. <laughs> that was so gross, he was so big. Okay, I don't even know how to eat this because it's not um, coming apart. This doesn't look appetizing, I'm not gonna lie. Ugh. The cream inside is really yummy. but the texture of that dough. I'm like eating slime. Mm, yeah, Oh, I don't like that. I don't like it. Nope, not my cup of tea, but hey, I tried it, live, learn. I showed you guys this at the store. This is the watermelon water. Super curious about it. I don't know if I, I don't think I need to shake it or anything. It doesn't say. Okay. Oh, it has a safety seal too. It's like double safety sealed. Maybe just for freshness. Oh, that smells putrid. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh my god, I am literally, I don't mean to waste all this food, I just, ew, I wanted to try some new stuff, that is, that's awful. And then lastly, I'm gonna uh, move you guys so you can come a little bit closer. So I've been trying to find like the perfect nude shade, and I always seem to get pretty close, but they're always like on the pink side, and I want more of a true nude. So I picked up, again, I showed you these in store, um, but they are from Maybelline, they are the... What are they? The nude, nope, color sensational lipsticks, I guess. They're not like matte, they're not liquid lipsticks, they're actual lipsticks. So I picked up 920 and 930. 920 is called Nude Lust. Uh, they both look like really, really, really pretty colors. And then 930 is called Truffle Tease. So a little bit darker. I think this one definitely looks more pink than this one does. But we're gonna try them both. I think I'm gonna do one on my top lip, one on my bottom lip so I could actually see the difference between the two. So I'm gonna put the lighter of the two, which is 920 on top. Ever since the whole Jacqueline scandal, I'm like. <laughs> um, well, that's so funny because even these, even these have those oxidation bubbles that everyone was like freaking out about like if i brought out my microscope i could really show you guys but i don't even think i don't i'm filming on my iphone so i really don't think it's gonna pick it up no way but there's definitely those little bubbles on the uh sides of them i love them i love the look of lipsticks i don't know why. okay anyways let's just go ahead and swatch them before we start a scandal huh all right, here is 920. Okay, so that one basically looks like my lip color. Like this is my natural lip down here. And then here is 920. So I guess if I'm like looking for like a no lipstick lipstick look, 920 would be it. But let's go ahead and try 930. Sorry, I'm not the best at putting on lipstick, especially when I can't really see what I'm doing. Okay, that's a pretty color. 
So you can see the difference between the two. Like this one kind of looks like I'm definitely wearing something. This one almost just looks like I have something super sheer. Um, but I like them both a lot, actually. Um, I'm glad to see them like side by side. I probably would wear 930. Well, I don't know. I was going to say I would probably wear 930 more on a regular basis. But to be honest, I still like the new look of 920. I don't know. Two really pretty colors I'm excited to add into my collection. Um, so that is it. Anyways, that is all the stuff that I picked up from the store that I felt was uh, like worthy. I guess I'll put 930 all over my lips. I'm uh, going out tonight with a couple of female family members, um, but I think I'm going to wear this lipstick out. I just haven't worn like lipstick in a long time. I do have a nude lip liner that I'll probably wear with it. The lip liner literally almost matches my lips too. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. So if you're looking for a really affordable nude lip, I would try these two colors out. These were like four something each. So you could get like a whole bunch of these colors to keep in your collection without breaking the bank. Like this would be like the perfect back to school nude lip, no joke.